Hello all, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. Uh, welcome to part 2 of CRUD Basics with MySQL I. At the end of part 1, this is where we were, we had a connection to the database with a connectdb.php script, and then we also had a view.php script which displays the results from the database, and we included edit, delete, and add new record links. So we're going to go ahead and continue adding functionality to this little uh, minor web program. Um, first thing I want to do is let's create functionality to allow us to delete these records. So I'm going to start by creating a new file, delete.php. And now basically all this is going to do is we want the user to click on the delete. It's going to take the user to this page very briefly. It's going to check and see what the ID value from the URL holds. If you notice, um, if you hover over this, look down here at the bottom, you'll notice uh, delete.php, it passes an ID variable in the URL. So uh, let's get started on this. We're going to open up with uh, PHP tags. And as usual, with basically all of our pages in this application we're going to want to include our connect to the database. Okay, so that gives us access to the database and then we also want to check um, if the ID in the URL was set. So first we want to make sure that it's set and then if it is, we want to make sure that it's num that it is numeric. So this makes sure that no one can pass in, you know, a string of text and numbers and random things. Um, make sure that the data is valid. Okay, so if this is set and the ID value is numeric we want to go ahead and set an ID value. Okay. And if for some reason it's either not set or isn't numeric, we're going to want to redirect the user. So else, and we're going to redirect the user back to the view page. So header Okay, so now let me go ahead and test this quickly. So we go back to our view records. Um, we're going to go ahead and click on delete. And you'll see a blank page, so that's fine. Now if we go ahead and remove this ID value off, you'll notice it redirects us back to the view page. Okay, so we have our ID value. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, secondly, we're going to want to delete the record. So this one is done with a slightly different syntax from the view.php file that we created just a little while ago. Um, we're going to use prepared statements with MySQLi. Um, that gives us quite a bit of additional security. And let me show you how to do that. So we're going to do um, STMT, that stands for statement. and we want to prepare our statement so we're going to use the prepare function and within that we have our actual query so we want to delete from players where id equals question mark limit one now there is a pretty major difference here between standard mysql syntax Specifically, what's up with the question mark? Okay, so basically those question marks separate the, uh, the MySQL logic from the database. Excuse me, from the data. Um, the question marks are placeholders until the next line. So in that case, um, we're going to first of all put this in an if statement. So if this is valid, we're going to go ahead and delete the record. Otherwise, um, we'll just display an error. Okay. 
Okay, so now within this, assuming this is valid, in the next line we actually want to clarify what this will equal. So that's done with uh, stmt and bind param. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky and I'll do my best to explain it. So what this is doing is we're going to go ahead and delete from players where id equals question mark limit 1. So this question mark is going to be replaced by this line. And bind param basically tells the MySQL what value will be in here. So we're going to pass it two things. We're going to pass it the type of data that's supposed to appear in here. In this case we're going to pass it an integer. And that's done by adding an i. Um, there are a couple different ways to do things um, here. You do i for an integer, s for a string, etc. Um, you can check the MySQL i manual online for more information on that. Um, so we're going to pass it an integer and specifically we want to pass it the id value. So the value that we got from the URL right here. So now that this parameter had been bound to the query, we can go ahead and execute that. That's done with the execute um, function. And then finally we want to close out the connection. Or, um, close out the statement, excuse me. Okay, so that will finish this section. And lastly, we want to redirect the user back to the view page. Okay, so to go over this one more time, um, we're using prepared statements and MySQL I. This is the statement. The question mark gets replaced by this line um, where it sets in the ID. This is important because it pre uh, preserves additional security, prevents things like SQL injection, which is pretty important, and you don't want outside users being able to mess with your application. So I believe that's it. Um, and I guess the last thing we want to do here is we want to close out the database connection itself. And we do that with the close function. Okay, so let's go ahead back to our page and preview it. I'm going to go ahead and delete this record and let me go back and check this one moment. Uh, excuse me, this needs that. There we go. And you'll notice that we can now delete records. Okay, so now secondly, um, now that we have delete working, let's go ahead and work on adding new records to the database. I'm going to start by creating a new file. And call it records.php and I'm going to make this file have um, two parts to its functionality. First of all, it's going to be able to add new records to the database and also edit new records. And I'm combining this into one file because both of these functionality need the same basic requirements. They both need a form, they're going to ask for the same sort of information, so it's much easier to have this information all in one file rather than splitting it up across multiple files in case we need to edit things in the future. 